What are you thankful for? For some, it's the sunshine and the shelter. They give me a reason to be to be alive today, to to want to get up in the morning. Columbia University predicts a 40 to 45 percent increase in homelessness due to COVID, and Homeward Bound has already felt the impact. This is a problem that um, we all face in the community. I mean, from one month to the next, any one of us could end up in this situation. Over 3,000 people were served here at this location last year and over 3,500 this year. But the need has increased, and so is the need to protect them. Separate air ventilation system so we can quarantine um, up to 12 individuals in isolation pods uh, should that need arise. Matter of fact, I was isolated for about a week actually, just to make sure. The shelter offers shelter and 120 warm beds, and that's not all. They also served over 95,000 meals in this very hall last year and 110,000 this year. People are wet and cold, you know, and it, and it gets down to your bones. It just shows that uh, it's a dangerous life. You're just so cold, you can't warm up. The need for the warm bed has gone up. And here at the Pathways Village, that need has gone up to 270. At the Pathways Family Shelter, we will house uh, families and women, while this North Avenue shelter will remain um, for men. We already have 13 families and uh, over 30 individuals that are there um, with children. An increase in homelessness doesn't have to mean a decrease in hope. But not having hope is a big thing. And with the shelter, the homeward bound here, they give me that, they give me hope. First on the Western Slope, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News.